Hello everybody, this is Beano4657, and I'm going to do a short um, LP game, just for the hell of it really. Um, this is Super Mario Land, a very unfamous game that was released for the Game Boy. Hold on a second, that was the demo. Not me. This was like the first game I remember that was released for the Game Boy. Uh, just to clarify something before we actually like, start with the... Actually, I'll tell you while I'm, doing, while I'm playing this game. Um, I have a Game Boy and Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color emulator on my Wii right now, but for some reason it cuts off a little bit of the edges of the TV. Or, I mean, of the screen. My TV is fine, it's just that this emulator is just glitched or something. I don't know, maybe it's still in the beta stage. But my capture card displays it just fine. I have no idea why, but... Anyway, so if I get hit by something that's just slightly off screen, then that's probably it. <laughs> Well, this game, uh, I didn't really play this uh, when I was a kid. It's one of those games that just kind of went, that just kind of came and went. And not very many people I knew had it, or even knew about it for that matter. But despite that, um, uh, the rest of the Super Mario Land games, uh, Super Mario Land 2, 6 Gold and Coins, that one went really well. I, I only beat that game once, so. Eh, yeah, I might as well just run through everything. I mean, I got a star. Oh, that was a close one. This game is actually pretty hard. And right now, I can't even see the floor. <laughs> yeah, I can't even see the freaking floor. And if you get in the top level, um, you play a bonus game, which can give you either a fire flower or one, two, or three lives. So you always get something. This is actually more or less a test of how my recorder can handle this Game Boy emulator. I mean, if it doesn't work, that's fine. I mean, it's just a small game. Uh, but there's actually a Game Boy Advance game that I wanted to LP uh, called Fire Emblem. So, in just to make sure everything works, I thought I would just, uh, you know, try this. And if I, um, and actually I will probably, L I will LP that game. When I do start LP, and uh, Fire Emblem, I'm going to use save states because that game is hard. And if you've played Fire Emblem before, then you probably know what I'm talking about, but I don't like to have people dying. <laughs> I was just kind of really bored today. Right now it's like Sunday, March um, 21st. I don't know when I'm going to upload this or how often I'm going to. But, I don't know. It's probably only going to be like four or five parts. Depends how good I do. I was actually just playing this game like not even an hour ago as a practice run just to get ready. Right now we're only like three minutes and 20 seconds in and I just got done with two levels. As you probably guess since this game is on the Game Boy it's not as long as Super Mario Bros. 1. Oh, I can't just have it! Um, anyway, um, in this game there are only four worlds with three levels per world. So this is the last level, world three. Um, for some reason, like, I swear that the music in this game became more popular than the game itself. Mainly just for the music that we heard in the last two stages and this one. The music in this game is actually really good. Despite being like, you know, Game Boy. Well, Game Boy did have some pretty good music. I mean, like, you know, Pokemon. And all that kind of stuff. Wait! What the hell was that, Mario? What the hell kind of jump is that? When you duck and jump, Mario does this weird arm extender thing. What the hell is he doing? Well, anyway, that was really the boss. There's no Bowser in this game because we're not even in the Mushroom Kingdom. In this game, we're in... I can't remember the name of the kingdom, though. But we have to rescue Princess Daisy. Now, this is the game where Daisy makes her appearance. Apparently, she's going to be married off to an alien, and Mario has to go save her, which is weird, but... Well, at least she didn't turn into a toad. So that was World 1. 
I'm gonna try and land on that fire flower up there. Hooray! This game is also pretty generous with his lives. I mean, okay, this music freaking rocks. I like this song. I really like. Do Apparently, they're immune to fireballs. Yeah, when the fireballs don't really do what they used to. Holy crap! Look at all the coins, man. The fire flower too. Oh crap! I think I just screwed it up. Yeah, I just screwed it up. Okay. Is it me or am I not hearing any sound from the coins or anything? Well, whatever. I don't care. Apparently there's a lack of sound effects when you're in there. I think it might be the ROM, but... I don't know. Did the Cheap Cheeps get replaced by Bone Fish? Also, for some reason when you step on a Koopa, its shell turns into a bomb. Like, what the hell? Was Nintendo on crack when they made this? This is probably like the fourth Super Mario game, so... Eh. I mean, Super Mario Bros. 3 was pretty freaking weird, when you think about it. And if you don't think it's kind of weird, just... Um... Watch, um... Um, Angry Video Game Nerd's review of it. He actually points out some pretty weird things about it. Like, even though it's, like... I freaking love Super Mario Bros. 3, and everybody does. But there are just... There are just some things about them that's like... Wow. Like, it's just so different. And yeah, and hearts are free lives in this game. Not mushrooms. Hooray! So that was just 2-1, and we just got two more levels to go in World 2, and then we can move on to World 3, which is freaking hard as hell, I swear to God. Damn it! It's like, oh, you lose. Oh yeah, for some reason there's UFOs at the beginning of the level. Does anyone understand that? I guess, like, you know, this game's about aliens or something, but why is there just a random UFO sitting there? And nowhere else. I mean, you figured they'd be all over the place. Hallelujah! More coins! Okay, I can sort of hear the coin get noise, but it's very quiet. And just like the standard Mario stuff, um, 100 coins gets you a free life. Which they give you a lot of coins in this game for some reason. And yes, I know I forgot some coins back there, but uh, I kinda just, like, you know, F it, man. I got plenty of lives right now. I can't even see how many lives I have. <laughs> Let me check. Nine? Wow. Okay, what is this guy? He throws his head at you? Seriously, Nintendo, what were you thinking? Oh, frick! The hit detection on this game is actually pretty effed up, too. That's probably the reason why it's pretty hard. I don't know why they use this music as, um the star power music, but, like, this is why this game is so freaking weird. It's just so different. And yes, I guess it is pretty weird. I mean, who wouldn't think this game is weird? Wait, I have to make that jump? Okay. <laughs> you almost scared me for a second game. Oh wait, there was floor down there, wasn't there? I can't see the floor down there, I thought it was just a big get- I thought it was just a big pit. I'm like, I don't have to make this jump, do I? But I didn't have to, but it made it a whole lot easier. I'm gonna get that flower now. Oh, sure, the one time I want the flower, it gives me three lives. Oh, well. Eleven lives, that's a, that's a quite a bit of lives right there. Oh, yeah. At the end of World 2 and 3 and 4, uh, you go through this. The stages like this. And, yeah, okay. So Mario's in a submarine and he's shooting torpedoes at seahorses and crap. I missed that star. Damn it! I wanted that star. You stupid fish! Any has anyone ever seen um, those Super Mario Land skits? That's the the flash skits that are on Newgrounds. Those are hilarious. And if you haven't, uh, you can find them on YouTube too. Just search like Super Mario Land One or Super Mario Land Two, Three, or Four, whatever. And you'll probably find them.
If you don't shoot these blocks fast enough, then you die. Die, you stupid fish. I don't know why the fish are so evil, though. Are, are they working for the aliens or something? That would be the only explanation, but... Hey, look at this. It's spelling Mario. We got another free life. Now I got 12. That's plenty of lives, I think. Nope, not for Super Mario Land players. Cause you, cause in the later worlds you can just keep dying and dying and dying and dying and dying. So at the end of um, this one, you can keep shooting the guy. <laughs> That's not a good thing to sneeze like that. Or you can just completely bypass him. Cause when you press the switch, and then he just randomly blows up. <laughs> 